Hey everybody, I want to welcome you to Noonday Prayer. This is day 29. We got one more day left of uh, meeting at noon and praying. We're praying for Get Lit Blade in 2019. Um, stop here in a parking lot in Lumberton, North Carolina to make sure we pray at noon. I want you to let me know where you're watching from and share this video. We want to get as many people praying as we can. Today, all the prayers are very special, but today I feel an urgency. Um, spiritual warfare is real and spiritual warfare will intensify as we get closer to making a kingdom impact. Saturday night, Get Lit Blade in 2019, there's gonna be many souls saved, there's gonna be many lives changed to the glory of God, for the glory of God. And I can already tell you, spiritual warfare is intensifying already in my life and I'm sure in the others that are involved. So I wanna pray specifically today for, for those that are involved in this evangelistic event that God will put a hedge about us, protect us, and also empower us to walk and uh, do what he's wanting us to do. Also praying for the spiritual warfare that's going on in the lives of the young people that will be there. There's all kind of things pulling at them right now so they won't be there. Satan does not want um, them to come to this event because he knows that the gospel will be preached. He knows that lives will be changed. And so he is after, he's come to kill, steal, and destroy, and he wants to destroy our children. So let's pray that those strongholds will be broken, chains will be broken, they'll be set free. There won't be any distractions, there won't be anything hindering them from uh, coming and hearing the Word of God Saturday night at 7 p.m. Elizabethtown Middle School on the football field. I want to read something to you. i like to give you something encouraging. And uh, we're talking about spiritual warfare. So in the Word of God in Ephesians, the sixth chapter, starting in verse 10, the Word of God says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of the world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins gored about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you may be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Now, I got my sword. I got my helmet of salvation. I'm shooing my shot in my feet with the preparation of gospel of peace. I'm going to preach the good news. I got on the breastplate of righteousness, righteousness, the righteousness of Jesus Christ. And I'm here to tell you today, them fiery darts I have come already, and they're going to keep coming, but I also have my shield of faith to quench those darts. So I'm gonna pray right now that God will empower us and, and give us the weaponry, the, the ability to stand. He says we don't battle. The Bible says we don't battle with carnal, carnal things, but the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Make no mistake about it, we're in a fight. We're in a war, it's spiritual warfare. It's gonna intensify, but you know what? Greater is he that's in us than he that's in this world. And where the enemy rushes in, God himself, will raise up a standard against the enemy to push him out. So let's pray today that on that football field, there'll be complete liberty to preach the word of God in the lives of each and every person, young person that will be there, that God's gonna make a way and put a hedge about them, that they're not distracted, so they'll come. And let's pray that God will be glorified through all of this. Father in heaven, I thank you, Lord, for what you've done. Lord, you've done more than we can even imagine or, or say. You've done everything. We give you the praise and the glory. Father, I pray right now that strongholds will be broken in the lives of young people that will be coming. I pray there will not be anybody distracted, that you'll put down hindrances, stumbling blocks. And Father, make a wide open lane, spiritually speaking, that those people can come and hear the word of God. I pray for all the leadership that's been involved, all the people that give their time, money, efforts, those that will be there serving, the counselors, the, the ones working with the young people, for the singers, the, the worship leaders, Father, every person involved, I pray, Lord, that you strengthen us in the power of your might. Let us stand up. Let us represent you and, and show the world that you are strong on our behalf. God, we go in the power of the Holy Spirit of God. We don't go in our own strength, our own might, our own intellect, or our own charisma, but we go in your power, in the power of the Holy Spirit, and we praise you for your glory. We praise you for your presence. We praise you for salvation. We praise you for glory, your, your grace and your mercy. And Lord, we, again, thank you for all you've done. And for Jesus' name we pray. Lord, let the words of our mouth, the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer. In Jesus' name, amen.